Hello again everybody. In this video I am going to show you how to make your very own Jane Davenport themed washi tape. We're going to have a lot of fun using our art supplies today and creating, so keep watching. Okay you guys, we are going to have so much fun here. We are going to be making uh, washi tape. DIY washi tape in the style of Jane Davenport, our mixed media figures, whimsical girls, whatever you want to call it. But before we get to that, I have some really exciting stuff here. I have added two items to my giveaway, and that is the incredible pen and the collage papers, the acrylic face stamps, and washi tape. Um, so this was the only washi tape that I could get. I couldn't get a hold of any of the rolls. So that's why I have to make my own washi tape. All right. Uh, and the watercolor, the bright watercolor palette. If you want to enter that giveaway, just stay tuned. Keep watching. I will give you the details. So many people might be wondering, why would you make your own washi tape? Why not just buy it? Um, well, of course you can buy it, but there's a few reasons why you might want to make your own washi tape. One is because it's fun and it's creative. Hello, who doesn't want that? Another reason is because you may not be able to get the washi tape that you want where you live. And I know a lot of people um, sometimes comment to my channel, especially under my DIYs, and they're like, oh, it's so much easier to just get whatever. Why would I go through all this? Well, for a lot of people, it is a lot easier. But there's also those of us in the world who um, have a different situation than you do. Not to be sounding condescending or anything, but it's not so easy for everyone to get a hold of these things. And that's a big reason why people do DIYs is because they can't get, they, they either can't afford the, the actual product that they're making or they can't order it in, or it's just too expensive. And so this is a better way to go about it. Plus you get to be creative and fun. Hello, we're back to that. So yes, you can order. I mean, anyone can get shipped, things shipped to them, but it's actually quite expensive where I am to get some things shipped. For instance, I was just looking the other day and it changes all the time, so I always keep my eyes open, but I'm trying to get a hold of Jane Davenport's Aqua Pastels or Aqua Pastels and her Power Pastels. I'm hoping that eventually I will, and I want to order from Jane Davenport site too, but again, that's shipping can be pricey. So if I look on Amazon, at times I have seen one of those tins for like $66. Hello? And that's not even including shipping. And sometimes shipping can be, the item can be $20 and shipping is like $35. Okay, so we all have different situations. So for those of you who like to turn up your noses or turn down your noses, whatever it is, on people that do DIYs, just know that your situation is probably different from theirs. And so, you know, that's why we do these DIYs. So I am going to be using these watercolors from Jane Davenport. And another thing you can use is wax pastels, just a fancy name for a crayon um, or a fancy crayon. These are Karen Dash Neo Color Wax Pastels. Uh, you can use Jane Davenport's, of course. Like I said, can't get a hold of mine. They're already mine. I can't get a hold of them yet. You can use inks. Some things will work better than others. And I'll try to use a variety. One thing that is, especially for this kind of theme that we are gonna be doing, like for something like this, is you'll want some stamps. You don't have to have these stamps. But especially if you want like a Jane Davenport look stamps, I noticed that she had some washi tape that had eyes on them and then she would use it for whatever. So I have this eye stamp. I can't get that washi tape, but I can make my own washi tape and you can add lots of things to that. And then I also have these faces, one from her. And I have these roses stamps and I have a script stamp. So, you know, use your imagination. The other thing that I use is this newsprint paper. Uh, you can use something similar to this. The reason why I use this is because it's thin, which um, for washi tape, you know, it's, it's nice if it's a little bit thinner. The reason why I don't use this or masking tape is because when I do a watercolor finish or if I use these, it doesn't show up as good 
uh, especially because this is dark, but even on masking tape, it just, it, it's kind of, um, it just kind of wipes off. This paper is just barely substantial enough, thick enough, it's only like 32 pounds to hold, to do some watercolor on. Don't do it for watercolor painting, this is not going to work, but it's an, it works good enough to color and use with water media. You're not going to want to do a whole bunch and you're going to want to be careful as to how much you do. Also, it's still light enough that you can lay down some color and the color of this doesn't affect that as much. So that is why I use this. It's thin like I want it, but it's thick enough to do the techniques I want. So all I'm going to do to start is I am just going to... Actually, I'm going to spray my watercolor palettes here. So one thing, the Brights palette is in the giveaway, and it's got all of these really, really nice colors. These are really great pigmented colors, and these two colors here are also really great. This orange is awesome. It's in the Neutrals palette. So it's not in the Brights palette, but it could be because it's bright. I'll just show it to you. So when you're using, if you want to use watercolors with this, you want to get probably more pigment than water. And if you look at Jane's collage papers and, and whatnot, look at this. Doesn't that look awesome? It just like brushes on there really good. Jane Davenport's collage papers, which I don't have. I do have her, I have, I have her collage papers. I don't have her, like her cardstock papers, her pattern papers. Uh, but you can, they have a lot of this, like just these blocks, washes. So the other thing I wanted to say was thank you to everyone who has been commenting, especially those of you who commented on, I don't even remember which video it was, and just uh, the one where I said that I was like kind of struggling. Thank you for all of those who left such nice comments. Um, it really was appreci appreciated. It can be helpful to talk to others that, you know, have the same kind of issues that you do and know that you're not the only one. So thank you so much for that. Also, Jane Davenport herself commented on one of my videos. So um, thanks to her for that. If you want, like, if you like those white spots, those can be kind of cool. That's just kind of artsy. But if you don't like them, you know, you can just kind of go in and take your wax pastels or your aqua pastels. So these are water soluble, just like Jane Davenport's aqua pastels. You can use your aqua pastels the same way. So if you want, you can just leave it like this or you can add color in there. I'm just going to leave it because it's kind of fun. It's a good idea to blow dry after each step as the newsprint paper just isn't uh, substantial enough to handle a lot of working with it while it's wet. So make sure you blow dry it in between every layer that you do. So in this line, I am just creating a thin line that I am going to put the eye stamps on. So it's just another little wash. And here I'm using the Neocolor Wax Pastels and you could use the Aqua Pastels from Jane Davenport in this exact same way. And then I'm just going over them with a little bit of water on my brush to kind of soften them out and smooth them out. Then I'm taking my paint, my paint bottle that I made. I just thinned down some of Jane Davenport's paint actually and put it in a squeeze bottle and just kind of drew squiggles with it. And now I am just stamping the faces, just various faces. There I used stays on black ink so that it won't run. And here I'm going in with my wax pastels again and I'm just kind of spraying it a little bit with water to so that it's not such a um, like it's so it's a less graphic face and just a little bit softer and I'm just experimenting with different colors and I also use a gelato which will work the same the same way it just creates a little bit softer line than the stays on but I am using the stays on for those eyes because I want them to just be more noticeable 
And then here I went in with a mermaid marker, but it was darker than what I wanted. So I just kind of drew some squigglies on it. <laughs> And here I'm making more of a flesh, lighter flesh tone, and I am going to stamp some lips on it. And to make a more interesting background um, in the top one, I am going to take a script stamp and I just uh, scribbled out some of the wax pastel onto a acrylic sheet and then put some water on it and brushed it onto my stamp that way. And I'm just coloring the eyes with my wax pastels. And then I go in on the whites of the eyes with a little Sharpie paint pen and that just helps them to just be a little bit, stand out a little bit more. And now I have another little stamp to add some more texture and interest. Okay, so how cute are these? Like, I could have done more, but I just um, wanted to leave it. These eyes turned out really good. And uh, you can just go over them with white. And it will soak in a little bit, but you can just keep going, depending on how white you want it. The other ones I did, um, they kind of have a little comic look to them, a comic strip or animated look to them, which is fine. And I'm going to show you what I did with some of these in a second. And then the lips, I just kind of wanted to do rough lips. And then I just added some stamping on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them through my Xyron machine. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm going to put them through this machine. And you don't have to do this. You can just use this as a collage sheet. But keep in mind that these aqua pastels are water soluble. And watercolors are water soluble. And so you might lift up some stuff with the, depending on what medium you use for collage, and most of the mediums, any gel medium will bring up some color, even though this isn't watercolor paper. And so I kind of like gluing them on and just making them into a sticker. Uh, you can also just use a glue stick, of course. But I like this machine because it makes it, it works really good. So I'm just going to put these, and the reason why I do a certain amount, like a bunch at a time, is so that I don't waste any of this. And I just put all these strips through, and I'm sure you guys don't need to be shown how to use this, but just in case, there's some people out there that don't know how this works, I'm going to show you. It's quite fun. And the trick is here to have them all go straight. So they come out as oops, as a little strip of washi tape. Good idea to just burnish this down to get all the adhesive on the other side. Make sure it transfers to the back of these papers. Uh, there's different sizes of these. I think I might actually get myself one. Oh, this, see this is, it came over, but that's not a big deal. Um, it overlapped there. I think I might get myself one of the, just the little, the little X that are in the shape of an X as well. But uh, this works good. I didn't want the big one. And so these are ready to go now. So you can just, you know, if you don't know what to make or you're kind of stuck one day or, you know, just make a bunch of these and then you just have them ready to go when you want to work on something. So I'm going to show you a couple things here that I did. So this was done with these here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. And so I took this and you can just barely see it because I painted around it. 
there's a little sheet of tape there, sticker, whatever you want to call it, and right there, and I just painted around it, and for, to me it's just kind of a cool effect, like I don't care if it totally matches, I mean it's not supposed to, that's why I did it that way, and, and then I tore up some other stuff kind of like this, and I just used it for her clothing. The other thing you can do, which I did in these ones here, and the ones I showed you at the beginning, is I put collage on the, I'm just gonna soften that. I put some of Jane's collage papers on the washi tape and as we know, it just kind of blends in. So that's a really cool idea. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of, in some ways, it's probably doing two steps when you only need to do one because you could take this collage paper and just put it right on the thing. Here, I'll use one that's similar. Like, okay, so here's, so you could take this collage paper and just use it right away without making washi tape on it. But you can, um, like for instance, these faces and this one here, this is a clear face on the collage paper, collage napkin, and I colored behind it just like I did with this one, but I put the collage paper so it gives it another dimension. It gives it some color behind it, whereas if I was to take the collage paper and just put it right on there. So this, if I just put this right on her dress, then it would just be white behind there. I would still have to put some color behind there if I didn't want it to be white. So this way I've got it back there. And then the other one that I'm working on, I still have to do backgrounds for this. And then, uh, did I use any on this one? No, I didn't use any washi tape on this one. Um, so with this one, I'm going to use her skirt. I have some strips here that I made earlier, and I am going to show you how I do this. And I still have to do something for the background, but this is just quick to show you. you're going to try doing some of this washi tape stuff. Keep in mind that this, when I used this in the video, it was just like what you would do with the aqua pastels from Jane Davenport. So even though I can't do a review on her actual aqua pastels, um, this, this will work the same way. And eventually I'll do a review on them when I can get my hands on some. So in order to enter the giveaway, you will need to comment on each video in this Jane Davenport playlist and you will need to be subscribed to me. So you can comment as many times as you want but you have to have at least one comment on each video and every comment is an entry. And also um, if you can give me a thumbs up that is also what you will need to do. You can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down and just let me know what you didn't like about the video. So I'm going to be doing some more videos with the collage papers and some more of her items and I will let you know when the giveaway is done. I also have a video that I am going to be editing and uploading for this mixed media background and then I'm going to do like a part one, kind of part two for the girl um, separately. So you can be watching for that. I hope you have a good day and thanks for watching.